Are you a student looking to navigate the waters of Islamic finance? Today, I'm diving into Fiqh Muamala and Islamic asset management, two pillars that shape our understanding of financial dealings in Islam. Fiqh Muamala is essentially Islamic jurisprudence concerning commercial transactions. It's about ensuring that our business and financial practices align with Sharia, the Islamic law. The core principles include avoiding riba or interest, ensuring transactions are free from garah, meaning excessive uncertainty, and staying away from haram or prohibited activities. These guidelines ensure fairness, transparency, and ethical dealings in our financial interactions. Now, let's talk about Islamic asset management. Unlike conventional asset management, it's grounded in Sharia principles. The goal here is to manage investments in ways that comply with Islamic law. No investments in businesses involved in alcohol, gambling, or pork, for instance. Instead, the focus is on industries and companies that follow ethical and socially responsible practices. An important concept in Islamic asset management is takaful, or Islamic insurance, which is based on mutual cooperation and shared responsibility. It's a system where members contribute to a pool of funds used to support each other in times of need. You might be wondering, how does all this apply in the modern world? Well, Islamic finance isn't just a niche. It's a rapidly growing sector that offers a viable alternative to conventional finance. From Islamic banks to sukuk, which are Sharia-compliant bonds, there are numerous instruments and institutions dedicated to this ethical form of finance. Understanding these concepts not only helps you make informed financial decisions, but also enables you to contribute to a more ethical and equitable financial system. Whether you're a business student, aspiring entrepreneur, or just someone curious about finance, Fik Muamala and Islamic Asset Management offer valuable insights into how finance can align with faith and ethics. So, if you're ready to explore the world of Islamic finance, keep these principles in mind. They're not just guidelines, they represent a commitment to integrity and social responsibility in all financial dealings. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insightful content.